Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a soft makeup look. Um, basically, you can go out, friends, go on a date, that sort of thing. You know, steps will be a little bit different. So let's begin. Firstly, I'm using the ordinary primer. Rub it out in, massaging it into the skin. It's really, it feels really silky, and helps the products to stay on the skin for a really long time. Next, moving on to LA Go Pro Conceal, using that on all over my dark spots, and just blending that in, trying to cover up dark spots as much as possible. And over that to set it, I'll be using the Sasha Matte Face Powder. Um, I believe it was tan. And I'll just be putting that all over my face, basically. Um, just blending it in to my skin. Moving on to the Pro Conceal. Um, I can't remember which color that is, but I'll link it down below. Now we're putting this all over where we put the corrector. And we're going to just be blending that in. I didn't use a damp sponge. I don't usually. But if you want to, you can do, do that. Now using the LA Girl Pro Cravage in tan, um, two pumps, and using another sponge, dabbing it all over the face and uh, a little bit on the neck as well, and then using a the flat side to blend it into the skin, trying to get it as flawless as possible. Um, also use the tip to go around the nose as well and just, you know, try to blend in as seamless as possible. Using the setting powder from Sasha under my eyes, forehead, and bridge of nose, cupid's bow and chin, I did it off camera. Um, and going in with the Pro Fusion Pro Contour. So, um, carving out cheeks, nose forehead jawline um i never really did my nose before as much and uh, since i started doing it about two or three weeks now and i really got to i kind of like stuck with it you know and i really got to like it so yeah moving on to blending it out using this flat brush and uh, just trying to buffer it out um, so that there's no harsh lines, that sort of thing. Buff, blend, you know, that kind of thing. And then using back that same Sasha powder to carve out those cheeks. Using Titi Color Matte Bronzer and going over all where I contoured and just bronzing it up. Now using City Color Group Pro um, Shimmer Collection Blush, um, I think I said that wrong, but anyways, using the first row and of colors and just patting it onto my cheeks and up where the contour is above the contour line. And then diffusing and as well taking off all that excess setting powder with my fan brush. Circular motions, if I may add. And did I say diffusing the blush? Yeah, I did. Um, using, I think this is a new highlight. I'm not sure, but it is a really good highlight. I love this highlight. And it's from City Color to Ombre Highlight. It has like a 
Pupa's huge head. I don't know if that's the right way to say. But it does have a purplish tone to it, and I, I really love it. I don't know what it smells like. I can't really explain it. But it is a really blinding highlight, and I love it. For those who don't love highlights as much, you can tone it down and use a different one. It's up to you. It's your preference. Um, now I'll be using the Spice Me Up palette from CC Color. Taking this grayish kind of brown and placing that all over my eyelids. Eyelid, because I already did one eye. Duh. Anyways, moving on with this blending brush from Morphe. Um, taking this darker brown and placing that on the altitude of my eyes and small circular motions um, and just blending it outwards into the crease as well. Taking this lighter brown and popping it from the inner corner up into one third of the eyelid, inner third of the eyelid. buff it out a smaller Morphe brush, blending brush, and now taking this broken seal and stamping it onto the middle or center of the eyelid and just blending it in and taking this reddish brown red color. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's a red color though. But just putting that over the broken seal and really packing it on there. Um, now going over the lines so that way it will look seamless and not harsh. Just taking a darker brown and lighter brown and going over the lines. And using that contour color that I used earlier and placing that on the lower lash line. Mm, just get it on the lower lash line and using this other brown color there's so much browns in here anyways using this other brown color and placing that as well on the lower lash line now using this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner and trying attempting to you know make a wing It was a struggle, and there was a little bit of tugging. And I think that was because of all these shimmer shadows. I mean, it, it may or may not be, and I'm not sure. Um, yeah, now using this creamy eyeliner from City Color and popping that into my waterline. I forgot to mention that I put on mascara off camera, so I would be linking the product in the description box as well as the other products that I use throughout this video. Description box, obviously. Um, I'll also link the names of what I use on my lip, but this was actually a blush and I've not used it. Never. Have not. <laughs> I've never used it and I was just like, ooh, it's pretty color. Put on lip that that kind of thing. Um and just putting this lip gloss over it. And as you can see, I am definitely feeling this lip combo, this eye, the eye look as well. I think I really did a good job blending it out. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. Thank you all for watching. And I will list all the products down below. Bye!